Vicky, I'm Benna, Derby, you do well here. Yeah, obviously it's my home race, but again, like last year, no expectations. Like, honest to God, I didn't know I was winning until that final bit when uh, the commentator shouted like that I'd won. I was just in my zone, trying not to fall off and not to make mistakes, but I think this is the first time that I've ridden or raced in mud since retiring. Yeah. So, it took me a couple of laps to get into it and obviously started at the back, so it was a bit of a... A bit of chaos, but I enjoyed it in a weird way. It was good. Well, I noticed you won a round of the one of the regional leagues. Yeah, I've done a couple of those, and I've been doing um, something called High Rocks, which is kind of like CrossFit, but yeah. kind of a lot different to this. Um, yeah. But I thought oh, I'll enter Derby just because it's to only 15 minutes away. It's loads of the riders that are coaching racing here, so good day out for the family. Kind of win-win all round, really. But well, the last time I interviewed you, had a little one in your arms. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger now and a little bit stronger, um, running around like a wild little thing, but uh, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Whereabouts on the grid did you start? Because this is your first... first... Last ride. Right, so, last... kind of so you've just... gone from last to first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a bit mental really, but I just love cross, like it's just such fun and it's... Uh, I went to the first round to watch some of the riders racing um, that I coach and yeah, I kind of missed being on the inside of the track, so I thought, oh, I need to end Starby. Yeah, and, uh, yeah just, just love it, just love it. And as a coach, what's it what's it like to actually win races? I mean, it's great to be able to pass it on to your riders. Yeah, for sure. Like, I was having a little battle with Eleanor for a little bit, telling her, like, you know, come on, go through, and just kind of helping her along a little bit. And I know she had a couple of issues with her bike, so yeah. I had to catch up with her. But, no, it's good. Like, obviously, it's nice for me to get a feel of the course and then pass that on to the riders that I'm working with. Um, you know, it's a lot different to being stood at the side of the track, you know, actually racing and finding lines. And, yeah, it's, it's good. I enjoyed it. Might well, do another one now or maybe nationals or something. But Well, someone was asking me, when did you retire? Did you ever retire? Yeah, I did. In 2019. Mm. But um, obviously... Well, that, was, that was a good time with COVID just round the corner. Yeah, 100%. And do you know, like, I think, like, just mentally I needed that as well. And um, <laughs> everyone always says, oh, are you going to return? Are you going to go back to racing abroad? But... It's, it's totally different now, like for life, and I just enjoy just rocking up to these races, just having a blast, and if I win, then obviously it's a bonus, but I didn't expect that today, so it's nice. <laughs> uh, well done. Thank you.